This is, let me blow this up a little bit. Right there, that's not, that looks good. First and foremost, great vocabulary. I'm looking at famine. I'm looking at treaties. I'm looking at composition. I'm looking at different present continuous situations. You're linking things to the past with using since, present perfect. You got the subordinate clauses. You have a variety of clauses, okay? And so you're going to make my life easier because we don't have to implement a lot of different types of sentence structures. The reason why I tell you that is because there have been people in the past who have said, oh, I have a template. And then I'm like, Ugh. you know, templates are only going to mm -hmm. help. It's a short-term fix. Now, yes, when you're going into university and doing things later on in mm -hmm. your life, templates ain't gonna help you. Okay, no, I don't all. like short-term economics. Okay, yeah, I there's like a shortcut. I don't. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't believe in shortcuts. I think we need to go through the whole thing. Yes, I agree. Right, right. And so that's what I love. What you have right here. So your first thing was most of the biggest problems in the world will be solved in the next few decades. Now, first thing first, you already know. Go with what is easier to answer, not with your personal feelings. So, based on what you write, let's see what you got. Meanwhile. Or there have been advent mean all oh, uh, okay, gotcha. All right, I'm gonna switch it up real quick. Although, all mm. right, oh, I had that one too. I, I had that word too, but uh, I I just erased it and put the other one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Not bad though. Although there have been advances regarding famine. Okay like worldwide food banks and world peace with international peace treaties since World War II. Currently, it is still, it is a problem still, or I'm sorry, it is still a problem since many countries in Africa, Europe and Central America are going through hunger and violence. Okay, now, I okay, let's check this out. This composition will illustrate the progress done so far, paragraph one, and the actual situation in certain areas of the world, paragraph two. Is that what I'm reading? Yeah. Okay, so basically what you're going to explain in paragraph one is the prog the progress that has been done so far. You're talking about the treaties and the advances. And then in paragraph mm -hmm. two, you're going to talk about the actual situations. Yes, exactly. And in the That's what I you're gonna be you're gonna talk about your opinion stating yes. okay. It's not going to be solved or it is going to be solved because you don't necessarily have your stance here. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. 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 Very good. Let's check this out so, real quick. Yeah, I, go ahead. I, I, want, I have a question. Do Do I need to put my um, my opinion uh, at one point? Because I remember you mentioned and, and some, some, and some uh, um, of them you shouldn't give your opinion just to just to talk about whatever kids or whatever asking you so mm. in these kind of agree or disagree can i can i can i put my personal opinion at one point or should now i or shouldn't right now you're always giving your opinion however personal examples that's what we want to avoid with agree and disagree so again what you mean by personal opinion sure check this out currently I believe, that's your opinion, it is still a problem. There it is. That's your stance. That's your opinion. You see what I mean? You see what I did just there? Yeah. And so, yes, you could put your stance such as, I believe this, I believe that. What I went on the video was, be very careful with giving the same, you know what I mean? The same, uh, oh my God, what am I trying to say? Uh, your personal example. So again, okay. most of the biggest problems in the world will be solved in the next, you know, in the next few decades. And then you give a personal example. Well, from my own experience, I've solved problems. No, 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 no. We're getting a little bit. I know. What I mean? it's, okay. It's, it's, and the reason yeah, I yeah. say that is because there are a lot, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of students out there in the atmosphere. No, not really in the atmosphere, but out there in the world who do give personal examples to situations as crazy as this. Mm -hmm. So we got to be very careful okay. with that. And it's because there are the likes of TST prep and TOEFL resources that always urge students, give a personal example. But I'm talking about endangered species. Give a personal example of you owning an endangered species. Fuck no. 
All right. And we got to stick right here to the point, which is obviously problems in the world. And so you did a fantastic job in doing that. So by reading this, this was very good, Santiago, because your internal preview was already stated just right here. This composition will illustrate the progress done so far. That's going back to what you had written in the upper part up here, mm -hmm. okay, in regards to world peace and peace treaties. Now, remember, we're talking about world peace, lack of wars, peace treaties. Oh, that's actually combined. Fantastic. And then your next paragraph is going to be obviously about the food hunger and the violence. Mm -hmm. Now, you're going to be writing a hell of a lot. I love it. You know what? You heard me preach in the previous video in regards to bedrock ideas. Santiago, give yourself a round of applause. These are some phenomenal ideas. I could write a goddamn book on the ideas you gave. <laughs> this is what I want you to focus on because guess what? A lot of people would say most of the biggest problems in the world today will be solved over the next few de decades. Well, I believe that because, you know, there's more food. Boom! You shot yourself in the food. We cannot go any further. There's going to be more. There's going to be more food in the future. How are you going to write a, what are you going to write in terms of a paragraph in regards to there being more food in the future? It could, that, it could potentially be a bedrock idea by you, but by you structuring out, structuring it out the way you did, it makes it so much easier to write the paragraphs and the essays. So bravo to that. That is very, very good. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to reiterate, although there have been advances regarding, I'm going to switch this up a little bit regarding uh let's see advances because before famine we got to talk about the advances which is a positive thing but famine is a negative thing see if we mm -hmm. talk about the advances in famine we're talking about oh famine's getting better I meaning it's getting worse so what i'm going to do i'm going to say although there have been advances regarding yeah you're right shortages and food or something like that. You see what I mean by that? Although there have been advances regarding the shortage of food in countries such as blah, 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 you still, you're on the right track. I just, wanted, I just wanted to show you that if you say regarding famine, it means that, you know, it needs to be the opposite. So there have been uh, advances regarding the creation of farms so that we could come. I know, I know, I got, got it. Got it, got it. Okay, all right. That's just a little thing. Now, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not nitpicking. I want you to get a 30. That's mm -hmm. all down. Now, remember, right now, if you say Arsenio, this introduction, mm -hmm. if I were to just submit this introduction, this is a 29. The only things mm -hmm. that I'm going to recommend you is from you to get from a 28 to a 29 or a 30. So the little things, the little details that I'm going to be pointing out, Santiago, it's not that you're bad. I don't want you to, uh, uh, you know, to take in your subconscious mind. Oh, my God, I am so bad. Oh, my God. No, no, no. And I know you're not because, you know, we're, we're Latinos. But anyways, <laughs> I you, you know, that's not going to be a problem. But I just want you. I'm bringing the best out of you. That's all I'm doing, okay? Okay, thank you. That's what I, I want. Thank you. Appreciate exactly, because there are a lot of people out there, and I won't say names, but there are a lot of people out there that just say, yeah, very good, practice. Yeah, very good, practice. I'm like, oh, my God, you guys are, oh. So, yeah, so anyways, I will, I'll I'll just leave it there, but I'm trying to raise that bar. So, very good. Currently, I'm sorry, let me fast forward. I'm so excited. Although there have been advances, blah, 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 and like world food banks and world peace with international peace treaties since World War II, we're going to put comma, we're going to combine it. Why? Because in the although, it's not the main clause. The main clause is your subject and your verb, meaning your stance. I still believe that there is a problem and that's it. So what did I do here? Because you put although at the beginning, it's not complete. You cannot put a period until you put a comma and state the opposite. A although mm -hmm. is showing contrast. You're pointing out the good, but there's still the bad. 
you're pointing out the good, but there's still the bad. And so that's what I did right there. And now it looks fantastic. This composition will illustrate that, 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 that. That's what I'm looking for, Santiago. So what I want to ask you now, I want to brainstorm a little bit. Oh, no, no, because you already got your brilliant idea. So let me just outline this for you, okay? All right. And so if we look here, obviously, you need a thesis. You need the supporting detail. I'm talking about the body paragraph. And then you need the example. Now, it is totally up to you how long you want that example to be. It could be three lines, two sentences. It could be four lines, two sentences. It just depends on you. Now, after that, you can probably state an if clause, meaning if this continues or ensues, it would surely, would is your best friend because we're talking about an imaginary situation, right? It would surely impact in a negative way, ah, da, 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 da. it just depends how you want to sum up your paragraphs. I'm going to be very interested to how you sum up your paragraphs. Okay. So by looking at this, I don't even, I, this is going to be your homework because I'm so excited. So in your body, mm -hmm. your body, para uno, okay, your body, para uno, the thesis is going to be about this composition will illustrate the progress. Okay. Progress, international, peace treaties, and Santiago, obviously, you're going to formulate that into your supporting details, such as what you've already done, okay? I'm going to let you do your work because you're pretty goddamn good at this, all right? Thank Africa, you. Europe, let me just put a comma here, sorry. <laughs> and now, Santiago, you said international peace treaties. So what's going to have to happen is in your example, you're going to have to talk about a specific international peace treaty, which has not only brought peace, but we got to focus on the, you know, uh, you know, in terms of, yeah, okay. No, no, we don't have to fo focus on the food or anything, not till the second paragraph in terms of you stating that there are countries in Africa, Europe, and Central America that are going through hunger and violence. Ukraine, Russia, all of sub-Saharan African countries, and of course what's happening and has been happening in Peru and so many other countries in South America, <laughs> especially Central America too. You could count in El Salvador, Guatemala, Nicaragua, you name it, right? So all I would like you to do is talk about the international peace treaty that has brought good. Okay, that's your example, an international peace treaty, okay, that has brought world peace to specific countries since World War II, whatever it may be, because why? You're talking about the progress that has been done so far. That is your first body paragraph. So your second body paragraph, same format. Is going, you're going to talk about the actual situations that are happening in the world right now, going back to the negative impact of famine hunger and talking about food famine. Now, remember, we're just integrating. Remember to integrate that most, pro well, you're already talking about the problems, but the future prediction is going to be in the conclusion. I'll state that again. The future prediction is going to be in the conclusion. Let me get a question. Yeah, yeah. Let me get that for you right here. You're gonna be like, oh, I, 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 Arsenio, you are so amazing. I know. I'm gonna show you right here. Okay. Let me go down here and let me. No, this is the writing skills intermediate. I'm confused. Where's my conclusion? Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Summarizing arguments and conclusions. All right. Now this is a free lesson. Don't worry. Like I said, I was gonna be bringing a couple of things to you, anyways. I just want to show you exactly how we're going to go about summarizing a conclusion, because remember, it's going to be up to you to go back and give your opinion, whether it be in the first sentence of the uh, of the conclusion or the last sentence, mm -hmm. because you must state, is it or is it not? Most of the problems in the world are going to be solved in the next few decades. You pointed out the two biggest problems, 
But more than likely, you're going to say these problems alone are going to take a hell of a lot longer to solve. That's probably where I believe that you're, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I think this is where you're going. So let me go copy and paste here at the bottom of your document. And let me go over this very quickly. An essay conclusion, what does it include? You're gonna restate the main idea in different words. You're gonna summarize the most important arguments and topics, your body para uno and body para dos. And then what's gonna happen, you're going to describe the future. It could be maybe research, but for you, the future is the next few decades and what's going to happen, whether it be positive or negative while stating your stance. You're always gonna start it off with the basics, with the basics to conclude in conclusion in summary. All right, and to give you a nice good example of this is to conclude the most effective way to deal with people's carbon footprint is to provide different products and services for people. Boom, that's the thesis. Now remember, we are looking at the conclusion, but all you're doing in the first sentence is you're restating the thesis. Then you're going into the, it is crucial that more renewable energy is provided to reduce the reliance on traditional fuels. That's what the whole body para uno is about. And then you're going into the next sentence. Also, governments need to encourage recycling and limit the use of packaging. That's what the entire paragraph of Pare Parados is about. Mm -hmm. And then the last sentence, four sentences for your conclusion. The future consequences of not making these changes would mean continued global climate change and rising sea levels. Although that was bullshit, I just wrote it. But yeah, just wanted to make a point, mm -hmm. right? And so, mm -hmm. yeah, packaging, rising sea levels, although landfills, yes, I could say climate change and increased landfills that are going to completely destroy all marine life. I could totally do that, but whatever. So what you would do in your last sentence is, the I believe that although we're making progress in certain areas, in the next few decades though, these problems will not only just remain, but they will intensify before they get better. Oh, I just gave you a sexy ass conclusion. That's how you do it, Santiago. Are you following okay. me? I am. Okay, yeah. there it is. That's Exciting. all I got. That's <laughs> for you i am excited to see the work you do but yeah so from top to bottom for the body paragraphs you understand what i mean right yeah i totally yeah i do okay yeah, i just need to find a way um yeah to get example the thesis and yeah i just uh yeah i agree and it's good because co coherently speaking you already have it because now by looking at that outline thesis it's going to be about the progress in regards to the international peace from world war ii the supporting detail you're going to talk about what this has brought and then for the example you're going to go into a specific international peace treaty that has brought that progress and what has it brought to not only that country but maybe the neighboring countries and the people that live there and the life expectancy the positive the this the this the ah. okay and to be honest with you, because we're talking about most of the world problems, uh, in regards to the international peace treaties, try to include as many countries as possible, because we're talking about most of the world problems, right? And we're talking about the lack of violence in regards to what has happened since World War II, right? And a lot of people would say, oh my God, the world is going crazy. But to be, to be honest with you, Santiago, a hundred years ago, we were just three years after World War I. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, 20 to 40 million people died. The world is in a much better position. Yes, storms are more powerful. Yes, the climate is changing and we need to adapt. So that's just perspective. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, All right. exactly. So, yeah. Oh, my God. All right. I've been preaching. All right. Let's go to this, this one right here. How was this one? This one was a very general one. It's a really good chance that you'll get an essay topic that is relative to this. So I want you to keep that in mind, okay? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Others prefer, I'm sorry. Some people prefer a small town. 
Other people prefer big city. Which do you prefer? A lot of people who follow TST Prep and TOEFL resources. Some people prefer this because this. Other people prefer this because this. I prefer this, which I'm going to explain. Or I'm sorry, I prefer this for two reasons, which I'm going to explain in the following essay. <laughs> Holy fuck. No. Let's see what you wrote. When you live in a metropolis, ooh, let me hurry up and put a comma, you get to experience a cosmopolitan community through different food and customs from other cultures, and it grants you better job, ooh, better job opportunities as well. Holy shit. <laughs> Not bad. Damn, I'm telling something. I don't know how you feel. This is good. This is good. <laughs> You're going to be a dentist slash writer. Oh, oh God. <laughs> uh, Mr. France. So this has a not not show, but discuss discuss the advantages people may have living in cities like New York or Tokyo. Beautiful. Beautiful. So what do I expect? Go back to what I had already said at the bottom, outline it out just so you have all that coherence, and let's see you execute. Now, this could easily, easily be a comparison and contrast essay. I think you had seen that in the previous video uh, that you can actually do comparison and contrast essays within different types of questions like this. Uh, however, if you believe that you're just going to talk, and uh, oh, believe me, you absolutely can talk about all this instead of doing comparison and contrast, do not, do not be afraid if you feel like, let me do a comparison between New York and a very small town in regards to food customs and this and that. You see, the larger cities, for example, in America, me, I don't know. First thing that comes to mind is there's more diversity. More diversity means there's less mm -hmm. racism. Now, mm -hmm. I know, I know. You're probably like, I know, I know. I'm just saying, I'm just giving you an example for the top of my head, right? Now, if you look at China, very little diversity. Racism, Guangzhou, Xinjiang, all mm -hmm. these different places, sky high versus different ethnic groups, whether they're sub-Saharan African countries or even people from Kazakhstan. You see what I mean? I'm just giving you examples, right? And so by living in these different places, the food, the customs, the diversity, like you said, other cultures, better job opportunities, you know that's going to be very easy to write about. And you could give examples in terms of customs and cultures and what that has brought maybe in the past in regards to cosmopolitans and cities that have grown like New York and 